Hey everyone, welcome back. And I'm happy to present you the best JavaScript course on the planet, on the internet, which you will find. And this course is also free. So this course is completely free. We will see in this video how this course works, but this is no ordinary video course, right? It's not your Udemy or YouTube playlist like course. This is an actual interactive code damn course. So I have completely revamped the JavaScript basics course and is 100% new with new content, new exercises and revamped concepts. So what I want to do in this video is just quickly walk you through how you can enroll in this and get started with JavaScript if you haven't. And oh, by the way, this is the part of the full stack learning path on CodeDAM, which you can try out here. But what I want to keep my focus on in this course is the fact that this course is fully interactive. So first things first, people have been using this course previously, you can read a bunch of reviews, but in order to start this course, what you have to do is go to this course link, which is codedam.com slash learn slash JavaScript basics, which you might find somewhere on the screen or in the description for sure. And the moment you go to this course, you will see a button which says start your course. For me, it says resume because I have already done a bunch of exercises. But once you start your course, like from here, it'll start just as a regular course, right? Simple videos, simple explanation, but three videos down the line, you will see that the fourth element in the course is not a video. It says something like a code symbol. And here's the fun part. When you arrive on the fourth element, what would happen is that you are presented with a lab-like interface. Now in this lab, we don't have any challenges to pass. You can see there are no challenges. It just says me right, hello world using console log shown on the last video. And once that is done, you can proceed to the next one. So I can just say console.log hello world, for example, and be done with it, right? That's it. But what you will see eventually when you're completing these exercises and when you're completing these courses is that you arrive on these little exercises which have challenges in place. Now what they do is that whatever you have learned in the previous video, in this case, this is for data types. So whatever you have learned in that video, we will be practicing that concept, whether that's in the form of a small lab, whether it's that's in the form of some project, whether that's in the form of some test or anything, we will be practicing that concept in a real world environment right inside your browser. And that's how we have built CodeDAM, that's how we do it. And that's the best way to avoid tutorial hell as well, which I discussed in a video, you can see somewhere link here. But yeah, I mean, tutorial hell is real. If you just keep on watching videos on YouTube, on Udemy or any other course, you'll eventually not exactly know when to just take a break and start practicing. With CodeDAM, my aim for developing a platform like this was to exactly avoid the situation, which thankfully we are now able to do with courses like these. So in this one, you can see that we have to create a variable called learning platform and set it to CodeDAM. Okay, my age, this should be a number, so it's 22. And let's say am I above 18 is set to true, right? And I've pressed command semicolon to run these tests. And let's see if I pass these tests or not. And you can see that we will pass the result because we match the conditions for learning platform being code damn, my age 22 and so on. So I believe this would be especially helpful for you in the initial stages, as well as when you learn more advanced concepts. We will have labs where you have to create full-blown projects at the end, right? So these are full-blown projects which are available, but we also have labs in between which help you practice what you have learned. For example, in case of promises, we have a lab where you have to create your own custom promise. In case of fetch request, you have to perform fetch request. In case you haven't seen the React query course launch, which again should be linked somewhere here. React query is also an interactive course on CodeDAM, which is again part of the full stack learning path. But I do believe this is something which no other platform right now is able to do. Sure, platforms with interactive coding model exist, but I believe the best way in order to learn something is to learn from the instructor, which is me in these courses, and then go ahead and practice them by yourself. That's the best way to learn. And we embed the practice part as well as the video based part right here in front of the browser, inside the browser in front of you, so that you have no difficulty in becoming a great developer before 2021 ends. And this is a live course. That means not only it is interactive, but I'll also be adding a lot more exercises and additional content if required to this course. I will keep on updating this course. That is why I would recommend once this video ends, try to go ahead and take a look at this course. If you're on laptop, 
hopefully if you're on mobile you can watch the videos but right now we don't support practice area on mobile phones so that's a bummer but yeah i want to know your views especially if you're somebody who has not ever done javascript programming if you're new to this channel if you're new to code damn try to go ahead and watch this course complete the exercises and send your feedback with the rate course button it will help us build much better courses and much more interactive courses in the future and again like i said this course is 100 percent free so go ahead and try this out without thinking about any billing or anything or just worrying about any sort of payment. This course is highest quality available on the internet. I can guarantee you it. Take up any YouTube playlist, take up any Udemy course, and you would not find this level of interactivity when you're learning something. So that's my guarantee. What do you call that? If you find a better course, I will eat my own hat kind of thing. So I'm saying that. So. If you find any better course which has a better interactivity embedded for JavaScript and for the coming courses, I will eat my hat. <laughs> so, although I don't have one, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you will like this course. The links are in the description and the screen and the cards and basically everywhere YouTube allows. So that is all for this one. And I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. Make sure before you go, leave a comment on what you think how this course is. How do you feel like leave a comment on this video as well and like the video and subscribe to the channel i mean pretty much you know you'd know the drill so just do everything i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon